In the graves of this other Emerald Isle lie the bones of Ryans and Rileys, Daly's and Sweeney's, Chewth's and O'Gara's, names as Irish as the Shamrock. But they're not the remains of white Irishmen. Here lie black slaves and their descendants. The story behind this strange legacy is a hidden or at least a forgotten chapter in Ireland's history. It's the story of slaves who toiled for Irish masters, who were driven by Irish overseers, who rose against those Irish owners. But by an irony of history, many were to die bearing the names of their oppressors, Irish names, still commonplace here today, 300 years after they were first heard on Montserrat. And they're here because carried to the new world were the conflicts of the old and the divisions between Catholic Irish and Protestant English. The first Irish to land on Montserrat were Catholics, expelled from nearby St. Kitts by the British governor. As news spread of a Catholic haven in the Caribbean, more Irish came from Virginia, where they too had been victims of religious persecution. Within the next decades, from Britain and Ireland, more came. Servants, political prisoners, vagrants, men, women and children from among the poor and their institutions. Craftsmen came, and perhaps some too who had been freed from their period of indenture, came to Montserrat in search of a new life. centuries on, what is an Irishman today to make of the strange legacy which those early settlers left? 